uh, Papa Jean Piaget. Uh, born in 1896 and lived till 1980, he was a Swiss developmental psychologist and philosopher. But his studies of learning in young children led to the development of the constructionist theory of knowledge. His linking of human experience and behavior patterns to learning has had a major impact throughout the 20th and into the 21st century. A constructivist, he identified four stages of mental development that chronicled young people's journeys from basic object identification to highly abstract thought. The first is called the sensomotor stage, which involves the learning through motor action and takes place when children are zero to two years old. During the pre-operation stage, children aged three to seven develop intelligence through the use of symbolic language, fantasy play, and natural intuition. During the concrete operational stage, children 8 to 11 develop cognitively through the use of logic that is based on concrete evidence. Formal operations, the formal fourth and final stage, involve 12 to 15 year olds forming the ability to think abstractly with more complex understandings of logic of cause and effect. But remember, these are more guidelines than hard and fast rules of age. So here are three things I've been thinking about while reflecting on Piaget. First, there, it's important to note that some scholars have noted that his work doesn't seem to take into account social, cultural, or geographical differences amongst children, and that some adults are shown via studies to have not yet reached the fourth stage of this devel developmental timetable. The second is that Piaget did not so much focus on the fact that children's answers are about being wrong, but that young children consistently make certain types of mistakes that older children and adults do not. This led to the theory that young children's cognitive processes are inherently different from those of adults. If there are common expected mistakes, are they really wrong or just part of the living learning journey? Thirdly, Piaget's studies brought him to the conclusion that along with physical development, the child's mind evolves through an ongoing process of assimilation and accommodation, also known as schemata. For instance, when a child encounters a new event that is consistent with existing schema or mental model of the world, the schema is confirmed and there is assimilation. Resistance is futile. But when a child encounters a new event that is not consistent with existing schema, something unexpected, the child must either modify this faulty model of the world or form an entirely new one. It's important to note that some stages and schemata may last longer than others, but they correspond with certain age ranges and evolve in a certain order, always evolving towards a higher levels of complexity of the mind. As a bonus connecting to the last video, Vygotsky contradicted Piaget's findings as he stressed the importance of a child's cultural background as an effect to the stages of development. Because different cultures stress different social interactions, this challenged Piaget's theory that the hierarchy of learning development had to develop in succession. Those are three thoughts I had as I was reflecting on certain philosophers who have impacted the education system, and that's what I was thinking about Piaget. More to follow.